Alright, hello everyone, and welcome to Marvel Man's Game Room. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the McFarlane Toys, DC Multiverse, Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, Armored Batman, and Nightmare Batman. So, without further ado, let's take a look at these boxes we got here. That looks pretty cool. He's got goggles, he's got the binoculars. He doesn't come with a gun. He comes with a gun in the gold version, but not this one. That looks pretty cool. I definitely liked this look. It was very different. Also, the fact that he used guns. So, that's pretty cool. Now, the armored bat suit. This thing is fucking gorgeous look at it oh so good i really like this color scheme on the sides though the sides and the top the goldish golden color going on do you bleed pretty cool pretty dang cool so this one also does not come with anything except interchangeable hands it doesn't come with a spear or anything like that, but you'll. But the Superman with Doomsday does come with a spear, so you can obviously give him the spirit. So, without further ado, let's get into Nightmare Batman first. So, I really like these, the inside of the boxes that they did for this series. It's really cool looking. I love that pattern. It's so cool. But, so Nightmare Batman comes with the traditional DC single peg black stand. And his card. Here's my card. I'm Batman. Anyway, so... <laughs> Let's see what this one says. The exact same thing that Wonder Woman said. So we got Bruce Wayne, Gotham City's formidable, forceful vigilante, takes on Metropolis' most revered modern-day savior. While a new threat quickly arises, putting mankind in greater danger than it's ever known before. Yet again, it talks about the movie, not necessarily the character. Kind of lame. And I swear they're just getting lazy with these cards. Which is kind of stupid because these cards are really cool. Like, you could do, like, a whole, you know, write-up of the character. Even, like, the character from the movie and all that. But, I digress. So, let's get out his goggles and binoculars first. And take a look at those before we get down to the figure. I will say, I do not like that he doesn't have a cape, but that's kind of a movie grape, not a figure grape. So, just black for the binoculars, nothing special there. And then he's got his, his desert goggles. Look pretty good. I really like that copperish look that they have on the uh, eye part. Looks really good. I like those. So let's pop Batman out. Take a gander at this boy. All right. So his head moves a little bit. His uh, cloak is rubber pretty much everywhere except his arms. That's already on there. He's got double jointed elbows, double jointed knees, it looks like. Yep. You got those knee pads, the, finger, the foot thing. He has a very tight McFarlane diaper on because he's got a lot going on. He's got bulky pants. He's got a belt up here. He's got a belt right there. He's got a cr 
movement at the torso and the hips. Not much. But and it does look like he could hold a gun if you wanted to put a gun in his hand. He's got two trigger fingers on each hand. So you could put a gun in his hand. I think he had an assault rifle or some, something like that. I don't know guns very well. But uh, yeah, you could definitely get one of the McFarlane um, accessory packs and give him one of the guns. That symbol's a little grayer than it is on the um, Batman v Superman Batman figure. But yeah, it looks really nice. I like that. Let's put his goggles on. See if that actually looks good on no, him or not. Yeah, well, you can put it on the top of his head. I don't think you can get it all the way down. I don't want to try. That doesn't look bad. Looks pretty good. So let's put him on a stand and let's move on to the armored Batman. Boom. Nightmare Batman. Alright. Armored Batman. I would say other than Superman and Doomsday, this is probably the most sought after figure of this line. Because you know when, when they came out with the Batman v Superman Batman figure, everybody was like, oh, you got to do the armor bat suit now. I think whether or not they did Superman is, you know, I don't think anybody would have mind. Single peg black DC stand. And his cool card that has the exact same thing on the back of it. <laughs> so nothing new there. Now let's move on to this bad boy. So we got two new hands. Looks like one one new hand for each side. One left and one right. And it's taped sometimes, I swear. Okay, so let's take a look at these hands real quick. I like this one. This one's crazy looking. Like he's trying to grab something. A good, I think this is a closed fist. Yep, closed fist hand for punching the crap out of Superman. I like that. Those are really cool. All right. But let's get to the creme de la creme. Man himself. Armored Batman. Ooh, that looks so good. Alright, so it looks like because he's so bulky, he has a single jointed elbow. He does still have the double jointed knees though, which is good. It's pretty cool. I love the like, spikes on the side of his boots. And the spikes on his boots. Jeez, those are sharp. Oh my goodness. Be careful on that. Use your caution. He's got toe movement. Does have the McFarlane diaper. He's got, you know, leg movement there. Kind of twist at this uh, hips, not much. Got some crunch and some rotation with that. Can't really move his arms up too much because of the shoulder pads. And his head doesn't really move much because of all the bulk. That's okay, he didn't really move his head much anyway. Now, because they decided to put wires in these capes now, Cape's got a little bit of extra to it. So it's frayed, and it's a gray color, and it's got these wires in it for posability. Wow, that looks cool. All right, that's pretty much it for him. He doesn't really move much, but he looks fantastic. I love this figure. Absolutely beautiful. So let's put him on his stand. Oh boy, he's a big one. Come on, come on, Bruce, stand. There we 
gonna do that. All right. And with that, I'm gonna call it a day. So thank you all that came watch. Much appreciated. If you want to see the continuation of this series and any other McFarlane figures, DC, uh, Marvel Legends, comic book readings, gameplay, all that jazz, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And with that, I'll catch y'all next time on Marvel Man's Game Room. Peace out.